The Bay State is no stranger to clean energy. Actually, in fact, solar energy leads the pack for renewable power production right here in our state. But a rare test side of its kind in the Cape Cod Canal could give additional forms of clean energy a chance to grow and thrive in the Commonwealth and beyond. NBC 10 meteorologist Dominus Brown went to the canal to take a look. Tidal turbines, much like this, could be the next big thing in renewable energy for the Bay State. This site might not look like much above the water, but the possibilities of renewable energy underneath could be a game changer for generating electricity here in the Commonwealth and beyond. NBC 10 Boston was there as crews from the Marine Renewable Energy Collaborative rode in by boat to the Bourne Tidal Test Site to perform maintenance on the lifting arm, the part of its $200,000 structure that can support and test a tidal turbine. I've always heard the, the motto of Along With Earth Day of think globally, but act locally. That's exactly what this is. This test site is the only one in the U.S. like it, and perhaps in the world, giving marine renewables a viable option to clean energy. Tidal energy could be a big player in that. Two reasons why? It's more predictable and consistent than wind and solar since we know when the tide is coming in. If we think of that as objects that can go in the water and take electricity out of the movement of the water, that will eventually be used in ocean currents like the Gulf Stream, and it becomes an immense amount of energy. Check out this acoustic video of a tidal turbine at work. It's estimated that tidal energy could generate 20 megawatts of electricity in the Muskegon Channel between Martha's Vineyard and Nantucket. That means tidal and wave energy could potentially power thousands of homes. In this region, we have offshore wind. We have a tremendous amount of offshore wind, and we need to develop it. We don't have as much wave or tidal. But there are some challenges. The tidal turbine industry is not as developed, and investors are hesitant to fund it. It's a long way through development, and that's why we have this here so people can test and develop new technologies. At the Cape Cod Canal, meteorologist Dennis Brown, NBC10 Boston. Really interesting, interesting. Yeah, for yeah. Clean totally. energy. Yeah. Right here in our state. Yeah, and that's something that you don't really think about. I mean, we all see the wind turbines, yeah, exactly. stuff, but you never really think about it. No, that. no. What's underneath? Yeah, mm -hmm. and, I, and I love the think globally, act locally. Too. Yeah, it's happening right there along our coast, and here's the deal. Like, it's so much great technology that yeah. is right there at our fingertips right yeah. there. So, yeah, so hopefully they'll get some more support there, and maybe we can see some things happening. Great reporting there. Well, I appreciate it. It's yeah. nice to get out a little bit of this from the studio.